Laws. Laws. What are laws? And why do they keep making them so breakable? Is it too hard to ask for a rigid law that cannot be broken? What am I not paying my taxes for? Can the internet historian sue me for copying his intro? According to the law? Is abandoning my wife and kids against the law? All this and more in Victoria 3 Laws Plus Divergence of Darkness. Alright, what do you think? Should we start? Good point. That's right, today we're back in Divergence of Darkness, but I also brought Laws Plus, just to spice things up a bit. Now previously on Divergence of Darkness, we played as Poland and we were the good guys, no one got hurt because of us, and we definitely didn't break any laws. Probably. But I did notice that without United India or China, there is a huge demand for agricultural products like tobacco, tea, fabrics and so on. So I figured why don't we play a game where we get to be the agricultural producer of the world. Luckily for us, this mod has the nation for us, Plantagenia. We are ruled by our king Louis Plantagenet, a 10 year old child, but also an enlightened royalist. Legally speaking, we are social conservative, wealth voting monarchy with semi-constitutional ballot system, which means ballot stuffing is legal if you're the king. And we also have slaves. We begin the game by losing 15 legitimacy, permanently. And also we're going to give 60% more influence to the landowners, also permanently. Additionally we get a journal entry, Lord of the Plains, which is a little bit too much, I just wanna do some planting. Our long term goal would be to form Arcadia, but in order for us to do that we must defeat the evil Belgium confederation. Eat donkey balls, evil Belgians! We also have to find more fruitful land for us to plant. We also have a bunch of abolitionists which are ready to help our king in his quest for improving human lives by using laws. First we must scale down our slavery and take over the Philippine Republic. Are we pseudo United States or what? Additionally we're going to annex the evil Belgians because they have only two provinces and once we are victorious we shall inherit all of their puppets. Amazing. Oh my god, we have the option to respect other countries' sovereignty. I mean, we're not gonna do it. Hey, wait a minute, what is this Southwest Alliance? This definitely violates my country's sovereignty. Unacceptable. And we have our very first elections. The Conservative versus the Liberal Party. Classic Plantagenian politics. Legacy slavery enacted. And the Conservative Party won. Which means it's time for a dedicated police force. Oh, whoa, 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 what just happened? The evil Belgians just annexed all their puppets. And here I was just waiting for them to declare bankruptcy. This is just unprecedented aggressive military expansionism. Unfortunately we can't mobilize in time. Which means we have to make a white peace with the aggressive military expansionist Belgiums. Unfortunately this leaves us no choice than to attack Grand Colombia. They always cross the border and colonize our side of the uncolonized lands, which is an unprecedented attack over our sovereignty. Legislative failure, that's not how you're supposed to law. Fear not, with National Guard we shall maintain the law by force. And we are victorious. Oh, wait a minute. Oh no, I was supposed to take Santa Barbara, but instead I misclicked on Santa Catarina. And here I was thinking that there was supposed to be only one Santa, by law. Another election cycle and another victory for the conservative party, without the military this time. Finally, our king, Luis Plantagenet, is 18 years old. Hopefully he can start rigging the elections properly. And we also completed crown the king, I guess. Hey, wait a minute, Vinland is fighting for their independence. What a great opportunity for us to swoop in and take over their puppet, Skrilling Land. They backed down. A wise choice. Finally, we can maintain the law by force. And I know some of you feel bad about this. To be honest, I feel bad about it too. So we need freedom of conscience and all other negative thoughts. Such as the evil Belgian propaganda that we are nothing but warmongering pig dogs. In order for us to achieve that, we're going to make our own faction, Plants in Gardens, which sounds way better in Plantagenian. Promise. This will help us maintain our sovereignty over our lands and farms, which is what we really want. And before you say anything, this is not imperialism. We simply wish to spread the wonders of agriculture. They backed down. See that? The Rochnaninists agree with our logic. Let us continue spreading the wonders of agriculture in the Nistpatist. 
A legislative failure? Oh come on, if I have to shoot at the Nistpatist people, I'll feel bad about it. They back down. This means we have to defend ourselves from the evil Queen Queen. What if they attack us first? I can't take that risk in clear conscience. Another election cycle and finally we can see some ballot stuffing going on. The evil Queen Queen refused our diplomatic demands, which is against international law. Open fire, open fire! The conservative party won, again. I'm gonna be honest with you guys, I feel like the elections are rigged. We definitely need a police force dedicated to the law. Remember kids, you always must obey international laws, otherwise you will get occupied, humiliated, lose your sovereignty and be forced to pay massive war reparations, according to the law. Finally, police standardization for the entire nation. And we can also give all the immigrants permanent residency, even though no one wants it. I'm not sure how that works, but I'll take it. Finally, the liberalization we wanted. Not according to the elections, I guess. Listen, we must stop this corrupt system where the rich people get to vote for each other. Instead, we need a corrupt system which doesn't need elections for the rich people to be in charge. And we're also going to integrate the Tsagilili peacefully. Okay, this might not be very peaceful because of... Spain. Of course, it's Spain and their evil propaganda. Eat donkey ball, Spain. No one likes you. Peaceful integration achieved. And we can also click the Destiny of the South button, which gives us a lot of claims, including on Santa Barbara. That's my favorite Santa. I'll take it. Oh, what is this? The Comanche demand their land back, and they can become an unrecognized country. I'm sorry, Comanche people, but we don't recognize you as people. Alright guys, it's time for a peaceful reunification with Skrilling Land. Finally, we can have the intelligentsia and the clergy in government. Classic Plantagenian politics. Which means we're banning slavery. Oh no, the evil Belgian propagandists are spreading separatist propaganda to the Skrilling Land people. Curse you evil Belgians! Alright then, it seems that we won't be able to take power away from our political enemies. Which means we have to take power from our political allies. Classic Plantagenian politics. Yet another successful peacekeeping mission to keep the peace. Unarmed protesters, open fire, open fire. Jesus Christ, there's no end to them. A revolution to ban slavery. And after our government's heroic victory over the terrorists, the government will backpedal on our religious reforms, which is objectively the right thing to do. Oh no, unarmed protesters, open fire, open fire. The Ottomans are here to save the slavers. Classic Ottoman Empire. Slavery is banned and we can finally focus on total separation. To be honest, a government run by clergymen and intelligentsia disturbs me on a deep philosophical level. The Ottomans couldn't arrive on time and I also noticed that Atesia is no longer a Venice vassal, which as you know are almost ready to join our faction. You know that, right? Of course you do, you pay attention to our foreign policy, I'm sure of it. Total separation and gold. Also everyone and their mom wants cultural exclusion. And it's time for a peaceful unification with the Rotmaninists. With the culture excluded, we can now focus on a healthcare system that doesn't merely aim to improve the lives of our citizens. That's right, from now on your doctor can freely measure the size of your penis. A and other measurements, for scientific purposes. Of course. And it's also time to unify with the Nistpatist. Oh my god, Venice wants to join our faction. See that guys, I told you I'm not making this foreign policy stuff. And of course, Poland is next on our friendship list. Yet another peaceful expansion. Finally, a proper healthcare system for science. We're also going to get military schools. Have you seen the terrorism rate in this country? It's insane. Which means we have to integrate the Queen Queen according to the international law. Oh my god, the evil Belgians are helping them. Open fire, open fire. And we managed to occupy their capital. With this glorious victory, we can now dunk on the Belgians. Oh no, we're losing the war because the stupid Belgians forgot to add a war goal. Well, this isn't over yet, I'll be back. And I swear, in all the plants in Plantagenia, the entirety of Belgium shall be under our control. And now every child shall recite their oath to poop on Belgium before every class, which consists of excessive military training. It's time for colonization to poop on the Belgium nation. That's right, it's Congo time. It's also time for us to start exporting our great agricultural products to the rest of the world. Oh no, we need quinine, which is bad because we have haven't invented it yet and I have no idea what the game is on about.
Remember kids, if you have no idea what is going on, always respond with overwhelming military force. Oh no, Burgundy is trying to stop us. Eat donkey boss Burgundy, no one likes you. We defeated their navy and we managed to land. Finally we can start exporting once we rebuilt our civilian navy. And we are victorious in your face, Belgium. And we can finally subjugate Venice, which will allow us to forge an alliance with Poland. And there's a huge support for universal suffrage. I have no choice. Hey, wait a minute, we can click propose the reform law. To be honest, this is the first time in Victoria 3 where I actually feel like I'm running an autocracy. And it's gone. Finally, we can have homesteading, universal suffrage. Hey, wait a minute. We also have a semi-constitutional ballot system. Okay, we have homesteading and universal suffrage. Let's get the voting. Oh boy, it's the Arab Ba'at party. Classic Plantagenian politics. We also have a brand new journal entry which requires us to take California. What are we waiting for? Yet another victory for the conservatives. Finally, we have human rights and quinine. It's time to dunk on the Belgians even more. It's what I live for. Also, no more ballot stuffing. It's not helping my guys win. So I don't like it. And the Ottomans are here to stop us. I'll dismantle you for that, Ottomans. Oh boy, here come the Ottomans. And they surrendered. Well, that was disappointing. And such is the power of military schools. Good job, kids. Now back to the mines. Not only that we expanded to our natural borders, but we also have Cuba. No more rigged elections. And you know what? The last conflict proved the concept of military schools. That's right. All kids shall now devote themselves to the art of violence. And once we fix the steel shortage, we can commit ourselves to agriculture on an industrial scale. Military and agriculture. Can you name something more Plantagenian than that? We can also fix the tax system. And finally, the first fair elections. Let's see who wins. The conservative party won, but we can't form a legitimate government. Amazing. We also found more gold, which will help us with our deficit. And finally, let the great agriculturism begin. With the tax reform done, we are going to disband the Ministry of Propaganda. It's far too expensive. The budget can't take it anymore. And finally, we can grab all the rubber from the Congo with both hands. Another election cycle. Oh my god, Albania is asking to join our great faction so they can become Greater Albania. Incredible elections. This means that the Agrarian Party and the Arab Ba'at Party are going to form a government. Now that's just classic Plantagenian politics. Finally, every citizen can now ask the real questions, such as Why is the military in charge of the education system? Doesn't that go directly against our Plantagenian values? Why are doctors mandated to measure the size of our penises? It doesn't make any sense. Are the people in charge just making things up as they go along? Big if true. Now presenting our economic plan, which will greatly improve our agricultural sector. It's what Plantagenia is all about. Also, we can click the button to promote migration from Europe. I'm sorry, Venice, but the game says it's my turn on the Serbians. Oh no, our king is diagnosed with prostate cancer. This does bring up the question of succession. As you know, King Louis Plantagenet is the best king you can ever have. Unfortunately, his son, Edward Plantagenet, is a complete failure. But while we still have our king, we must attempt multiculturalism. Oh my god, Belgium is performing evil, aggressive military expansionism. I won't stand for this. Legislative failure, balls. But that's okay because we have the opportunity to build a massive statue of our monarch with huge balls. Speaking of balls, it's time for us to force Belgium and Savoy to eat donkey balls with the help of Poland and Venice. Good luck, Venice. I believe in you. And we might not have multiculturalism, but we're going to have workers' protections. Eat donkey balls, Belgium! And we also managed to liberate the Republic of Novella, Lorraine, and the Caroline Republic from Belgium occupation. Oh no, Albania left our faction. That's not good. Another election cycle. Who's going to win? Oh my god, Vinland is independent. Congratulations! This is absolutely incredible. Okay, that's enough of that. The radical party won, and the king doesn't look very good. Vinland backs down. It's not exactly Albania, but I'll take it. And with workers' rights guaranteed, we can focus on the king's succession by enacting a parliamentary republic. And we can also form Turtle Island. This wasn't here before. Anyway, we can form Arcadia, as promised. This does also mean that we have to change the name of our faction. That's right, we shall now be known as the United States of Agriculture. USA, USA, USA. 
Oh, wait a minute, that's the wrong color. Much better. End of the Plantagenian monarchy. Oh my god, Edward Plantagenet has proclaimed a presidential republic. That's the king's son. Wait, did the king die? I, I don't know. Wait, what? We just got a different president, Celestine de Serenet. What is happening? I'm so confused. Classic Plantagenian politics. And we can also make Afro-Arcadians into a primary culture. It's exactly what King Louis would have wanted. And the Republic of Novella Ro of Novella Lorraine is ready to join the USA. And we're also greatly expanding the economy. Are we the USA or what? Another election cycle. And the Caroline Republic is ready to join the USA. The Agrarian Party won, and we have a brand new president, Guilaumi, long laid. Now we have a parliamentary republic, which means we now have Chancellor Guilaumi, Guilaumi. And our ally, Poland, is big and strong. Unfortunately, they have their own faction, just as they were about to join ours. Alright guys, it's time for women's suffrage. That's how you know things are getting real. Finally, Mass Girl Land is ready to join the United States. Personally, I've never been there, but Mass Girl Land sounds like a great place for a vacation. Also, I did watch the news. Did you know that we are actually having a special military operation in Grand Colombia? And the government is doing all of this so we can liberate all the oppressed people. I had no idea up until yesterday. It's wild. You should definitely do your own research. We are victorious and we managed to liberate Michoacan, San Salvador, Matacalpa and Andagoya. They're all like great people that were there the entire time. Just do your own research. Also, Montenegro is ready to join us so they can become greater Montenegro. Also, did you guys know that decades ago when there was slavery in Arcadia, the Ottomans actually joined the slavers? That's why the government is having a special military operation so that they back down and Syria is free from Ottoman oppression. Another election cycle. And the government has just announced that they will be pensions for old people. I know who I'm voting for. Another undisputed victory for the agrarian party. And thankfully we have a brand new chancellor, Thierry Guilaumat. Oh, come on. Oh, so the government has announced that we are attacking Scotland so we can get our rightful Arcadian land. I'm not really sure about this. Oh my god, we're getting pensions now. And soon we'll get our rightful lands in Scotland, despite the evil Scandinavians. Coincidentally, our troops were stationed in Poland the entire time. And Scandinavia doesn't stand a chance. Trench infantry, upgrade immediately. There you go, guys. The Arcadian military industrial complex cannot be stopped. But of course, we're only using it for good. Which means we have to attack the Doom monarchy. They are also oppressing a lot of people. And we are victorious. We managed to liberate Finland, Sweden and Norway. Which are like these really old countries that used to exist back in the day. And of course, take back the lowlands. Which used to be Arcadian lands like 4000 years ago. I've been reading on this. It's wild. And a war has broken out between us and the Doom monarchy. Now I'm not in support of the draft. I mean, I don't want to be drafted, but it's a great place for your son after high school. If you really want them to learn valuable life skills, definitely send them to the front. Also, did you guys know that back in the day, our king Louis Plantagenet actually swore that he would take over the entirety of this place called Belgium? It's a wild story. Definitely look it up. And we are facing a massive coalition, the Axis of Evil, who are trying to evilly stop our righteous expansion. Even Cuba joined them. I'm so disappointed, Cuba. Oh no, Japan is threatening military action. Well, why don't you come and get it? And the Doom Monarchy has been vanquished. And we liberated Wales. Wait a minute, they joined the Japanese. That's not fair. Well, we did manage to break them apart. Unfortunately, we're going to have to leave Europe for a little bit. Balls, we couldn't arrive on time. And I know this coalition might look bad, but remember, they're going to be attacking us from Alaska. Okay, I know this looks bad, but with two precise naval invasions, we can surround them. One naval invasion, two naval invasions. Incredible. Unfortunately, the Japanese coalition seems to be pushing our shit in. That's not good. Oh, what's this? The Japanese want a white piece. Ha <laughs> ha. In your face, Burgundy. Bohemia has capitulated. And you know what? We're not going to be destroying the Burgundian army. Instead, we'll just keep them here. In the meantime, we're going to take a vacation. And we're victorious. We managed to liberate Burgundy, Dijon, the Netherlands, the Duchy of the Rhine. And of course, most importantly, we managed to take our rightful land of Belgium. 
in your face Belgium. This is the faction map mode, as you can see they're quite localized, mainly in Europe. Remember kids, always do your own research, don't just believe the government, stay in school and do your mandatory military drills. But most importantly, always remember that things were way better back in the day. Promise. And these are the laws you need for a successful agricultural economy. And this is the final score. Until next time.